evaluate and graph the following equations. Uh, absolute value of uh, or modulus of x plus 3 is equal to 5. Now, whenever you have absolute value, you are asking the question that the distance of this from 0 is 5. So basically what they're saying is, let us write that, the distance the distance of whatever is inside the modulus, the distance of x plus 3 from 0 is 5. Okay, so let me draw the number line. So, say this is the number line. So, say this is your 0. So, how can you get to a distance of 5 from 0. So, well, you can get in two different ways. You can go to the right and you reach 5. This is 5 is at a distance of 5 from 0. Or you go to the left and you reach minus 5. So, minus 5 is also a distance of, so of minus 5 is also at a distance of 5 from 0. So, this distance is 5 and this distance is also 5. So 5 and negative 5 are at a distance of 5 from 0. So, well, if that is the case, I can say, therefore, this x plus 3 is equal to 5 or x plus 3 is negative 5. So, if you add, if you want to get rid of this plus 3, to take away 3 from this side, so to take 3 from this side. So this and this gets cancelled, so x is equal to 5 take away 3 is 2. So one answer is 2. And here, again the same thing, you take away 3 from this side, you take away 3 from this side. So here x is equal to negative 5 take away 3, which is negative 8. So the two answers of x are 2 and negative 8. So let me draw a number line. Uh, so this is your number line. So, so this is your 0. And say negative 8 comes here, not drawn to scale. And 2 comes here. So these are the two answers. x is 2 or x is negative 8. So you can put this answer back into this equation. If you put 2, Say so let us put 2 into this. So this becomes modulus of 2 plus 3, which is modulus of 5, which is of course 5. And if you put, say, negative 8 into this, negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5, which is also 5. Let's try to understand this uh, in a different way. Okay, so now this this question, so let me write this, x plus 3 is equal to 5 was the question. So the same thing can be written as, this implies modulus of x take away negative 3 is equal to 5. x take away negative 3 is equal to 5. So I, as I explained in the previous video, whenever you say take suppose any subtraction, suppose 7, minus 2 is 5. Now, if you want to say this in English, I can say in different ways. One of the ways is the distance of the distance of 7 from 2 is 5. The distance of 7, I hope you understand, the distance of 7 from 2 is 5. So, let me draw a number line. So this is your 2, and this is your 7, and so this is your 0. So I can say the distance of 7 from 2 is 5. In other words, if you go 5 away, if you go 5 steps to the right, you get reach 7 from 2. So the same thing can be said like this. Uh, can I say the distance, the distance, of x, whatever that x, from negative 3 
is far. The distance of x from negative 3 is far. So let me draw a number line. So what does that mean? So we'll start from we'll start from negative 3. So what we are saying is from negative 3, if you want to get to this x, you have to go phi, a distance of phi. So you go phi to the right, so you can go phi to the right, or you can go phi to the left. Okay, so if you go phi to the right, negative 3 plus phi is 2. That's what we got. One of the answers was 2. Or you go phi to the left from, so this is one answer, that is 2, or you go phi to the left, which is negative 8. And that's what we got, x is 2, or x is negative 8.